Something we learn as we go through life is that just because you have a good intention and you work towards it, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see the fruition of that striving. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see the outcome of the good intention you are working towards. And this is why these ayat in Surah An Najm are some of my favorite ayat because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sets the precedent for us. What counts for us? Do we need to see the outcome? Do we need to see the fruition of our results? Or is it enough that we put in the work with a good intention? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa alaysa lil insani illa ma sa'a." That the human being has nothing except for what they're striving towards. And at the beginning, you're starting off seeing the small scene of the only thing that counts is whatever you're striving towards. The effort you're putting in, your sa'i, your striving, your effort matters, and that's all that counts. And your effort is very minimal. Right, you can't do so much. You're a limited human being. So this verse almost leaves you feeling like, perhaps, very limited. But then look what Allah says next. It says, "Wa anna sa'yahu sawfa yura." Know that this sa'i, this effort, no matter how small, it will be seen. Allah says it will be seen. And notice that Allah doesn't say you will see it, but it's the fact that Allah sees it. That's all that matters. Allah subhanahu wa taala sees the effort. So now you see that effort is not just the effort you're putting in, but it's the effort that Allah sees in the good intention you put in. And then the next verse even is more beautiful, subhanallah, because it uh, puts together for us this concept. Allah says, "Thumma yujzahu al-jaza al-awfa." Allah then will multiply that reward and give you a reward. For the intention that you built in a way that you can't even perceive, Allah says, "Al Jaza Al Awfa." Allah will give you the reward in full, more than what you even strove for. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, just like imagine Hajar who took a few steps, and Allah compensated her so much that even now, years after her death, we're still being quenched by the water that came from her efforts. So you never know how Allah will wafi for you, how Allah will compensate your effort for you in ways beyond your imagination. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see it, but you will see it one day when it matters. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa anna ila Rabbika al-muntaha," and know that your destination is towards Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and that's why you are striving. From the beginning, the only reason you're putting minimal effort. Is because you're going back to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and you know that Allah will reward you beyond the effort that you're putting in, because Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is Al Shakur, the one who notices and magnifies. So then, you're not limited with your effort when you're putting it for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's sake. So when you're striving with a good intention towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, you are never limited in the outcome, and actually, you might not ever see the magnitude. Of what you're building, of the seed you're planting, but one day when it matters most, when you're returning to Him, the one you were working towards, that will matter for you, and you will see the results in fruition, and that's when you really want to see them. You want to see them on the day it matters most. So if you're in a place right now where you're putting in seeds without seeing the sprout, the blossom, it's okay. Remember why you're doing it. Be more anchored in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala than in the outcome of what you see in your own life.